Reporting live from Batangas right now is Christine de Guzman. Hi, Chris. How are things there? My the Batangas uh, Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council confirms that one person died uh, due to the onslaught of Tropical Depression Ruby. Uh, in an emergency meeting held at the provincial capital this morning, the Philippine Coast Guard reported that the victim, identified as Eduardo Bunkin, was riding a motorcycle with a passenger um, along the Simlong Spillway in Barangay Pinamukan here in Batanga City when they were swept away by a strong current. Uh, the passenger survived, but Bunkin was found dead this morning. Now, overall, Batangas Governor Vilma Santos Recto uh, says that the damage caused by Ruby was minimal. Uh, in terms of infrastructure, uh, no major da damage was reported except for a broken roof of a stage in a school. Uh, one bridge in Lubo is impassable uh, due to flooding. Um, agriculture and livestock were spared. Now, power supply um, has been restored in the municipalities of Lobo, Taisan, Tanawan, and parts of San Pablo. Um, my Batangas Governor Vilma Santos Recto has already recommended to the Sangguniang Pandalawigan to declare a state of calamity. That is to allow the government to utilize its calamity fund as there is a need to augment the food packs for the 5,000 700 families currently staying in evacuation centers. Uh, officials will convene at around 2 this afternoon before making an official announcement. And that's the latest here from Batanga City. Mai? Thanks, Chris. That was Christine de Guzman reporting from Batangas, where Ruby made its fourth landfall.